How to Break PJ Pugapeller in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. So Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 is out, and it's got a few, uh, bugs? Now, there's bugs like the game audio not working at all, or your hands just won't shoot, or the graphic settings don't do anything at all, or you just fall through the ground, but these, of course, will be things that will be patched really soon. I do want to talk about a different kind of bug though, PJ Pugapillar. This dog-faced caterpillar has changed quite a bit since the trailer, but his room is kind of broken? Let me show you. And if you want to join me on my journey of breaking Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, subscribe right now, because I have so many more videos I want to do on this already. So after we make our way through the Huggy Wuggy Whack-A-Mole Simulator, which absolutely broke me, I'm not gonna lie, we eventually enter an advanced obstacle course. But of course, why not partake in a squid game where our life is on the line? We play red light, green light with the overhead lights, and we have to run. For this part, I understood that I was not supposed to move around at all when the lights were on, but it doesn't make it too clear whether this applies to the tunnels as well. So I was just going through this section and I realized that the second half of this area is really easy to cheese. Maybe it's not even a cheese, it's so hard to tell at this point because it seems so glitchy. But you can jump off the right side of the foam pit and just walk along the side. Normally, you're supposed to grapple a handle on the wall and break through a window, but you can kind of keep going. I didn't realize I was supposed to go up at top at first until I started clipping through some rocks, but by that point, PJ Pugapillar was already on me. However, that's when I noticed he couldn't really get to me. He started walking to the edge of the cave looking at me and then he just started clipping into the wall. I didn't realize it at first, but he was actually unloading piece by piece as he walks through the obstacles on the ground. It's also very interesting because once he starts disappearing, he begins to respawn across the room too. So way back where you started, he'll appear again in a loop. A copy of him just appears again like he's moving through a wormhole. I'm not sure why this is the case, or if I simply skipped a trigger by jumping up and over, but it was bizarre. When the player escapes PJ Pugapillar in a normal play session and goes up top, usually what they see when they look down below is not a whole lot because of how dark it is. But if we brighten the game up, we can see he's still kind of walking through the wall like a mad lad. So yeah, if you make it far enough ahead of him and jump onto the edge of the room, you can get to see this funny occurrence. But hey, if you want to see all kinds of other cool things in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, subscribe now because I have a lot more coming. Thanks for watching and cheers!